Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Toast. The game we're looking at today is Fuego. This is a really cool game that's about to be released November 16th. Keep an eye out for this game because that's when it's going to pop up on Steam. This is developed by Radio Static and will be available on Windows and Linux. And there's three game modes roughly that I, I'm going to show you today. Well, you'll probably only see two because online, it's before the release date, there's not a lot of online activity. But we'll get right on into it and I'll show you some of the puzzle mode. Uh, so puzzle mode is kind of your campaign mode, and you can see I've, I've played through some of it, and let's just jump into just the very beginning. It'll give us some of the basics about the game, which I think are very important to know. Uh, you come here, and this is your game screen, and each level starts with a little quote um, that relates to the name of the level. And so here we go. Click click the ground to place a bandito, bandito. click and drag to aim in the, at the bank. And so we do this, and we, we shoot out, and... The goal is to get the most gold that you can. And in the puzzles, which is what we're playing right now, the goal is to get all of the gold. And if you don't get if you don't get all of the gold, you you failed the puzzle. And so we'll go on and you know, I'll get a little quote here, why'd I do it? And we have two banditos this time. We'll take this one and we'll say bandito there. And uh, bandito here. And we'll hit shootout. And so puzzle mode is just one player. Uh, when you get to the other modes, you are playing against either the AI or another controller player controlled character. Uh, but for this, it's really just can you figure out where you need to place these guys to have the most success and to get all the gold. Um, and you'll notice soon it's going to introduce a new mechanic here, which is uh, you need to... Right, you only get one bullet and bullets don't shoot things, don't shoot through things. Uh, so to get all the gold here, we need to not shoot the chickens and instead uh, arrange it so that we shoot one building and then another building like that and we get the gold. And that's kind of the, the basis of this puzzle mode. Soon you'll see that we'll have banditos who have two guns right here. How do we feel? How do we be good in a place like this? So we have a bandito right here uh, who has two guns. And so let's let's click on him first, and you'll see he has two guns, and we can click and drag and see the bullet trajectory. So we probably want to place him just a tiny bit closer here to get these two uh, gold banks. banks. Um, and here, the big tip here is that banditos with the fewest guns shoot first. We hit shootout, and we'll go. And you'll see that this guy down here on the lower one will shoot this bank first. And then this guy with the two guns will shoot the bank second. This is really important once we get into multiplayer play. Um, and it, to some of the more complex puzzles here. So we'll hit next level. I'll show you one more level, I think. All my life, I'll atone for this. Uh, you do get these banditos with, uh, with three guns and with four guns. And so you need to be quite quite good about, about placing them in such a way that... Where do we want to place this guy? In such a way that... Uh, that you have success with them. So this puzzle, I remember being a little bit difficult because we can't shoot the chicken, right? So we need to shoot those two, and then we need to also shoot these two. So uh, I think obviously this one needs to be here like this, and somehow we need to get this guy to be shooting two houses here. And if we put him on the edge here, I bet you we can get the trajectory to be just right for both of those. We'll put him a little bit closer to the bank, lower it down, and, and check it out. So now we should be able to get all of these houses, all of these banks. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm calling them houses. That's a little bit weird, but they're banks. We should be able to get them all done, and that should complete the puzzle. And boom, and we've done it. Uh, and so that that's kind of your idea of puzzle mode. Uh, it gets quite a bit more complex once you start adding more of these ones with four guns and three guns, because you need to time it so that you have all the banks destroyed, and yet you have all the gold, which can be quite difficult. Uh, so there is an online mode, and this will give you a quick play, quick play versus friend and tutorial. The tor tutorial is pretty quick, pretty great. Uh, it covers pretty much all the things that you need to know about uh, playing online. So let's jump into an AI match. This is basically like a single-player skirmish. I pray that I may never see the desert again. T.E. Lawrence. And so the idea here in these AI matches is there's a timer to place down your banditos, uh, and you need to place it so that uh, you get the most gold, except um, you have an opponent. That's not good. Shoot. And your opponent is going to place down uh, their bandito after you. If you shoot another 
uh, Bandito, another one of the opponents, then you will end up stealing their gold. And the way you win is by having more gold. Um, and so now, see, we've only had two guns, so these guys are actually going to shoot second. So if we want to be smart about it, we could take, you know, for, for instance, we could say, I don't like this guy, so we'll kill him. That won't get us any gold, but that'll... I don't know what just happened there. Um, some, oh, I don't know what just happened there. That's never happened to me before, and uh, I'll be interested to see how that um, acts out. We'll put this one here, because he'll get two banks. And he'll actually take this one out too, because that guy's going to get the bank. So we put down four people first, and here's our battle. I don't know what happened to our... Here we go, the doubles. And it can be a little bit chaotic at first, but I think we've won, because I think we have more gold than they do, maybe? We have two gold, they have one gold. And there is a uh, cumulative currency here. We can click on our bags to see what we've unlocked, and we got, you know, seven gold or so. And uh, that's what we do. So we won this one and we hit rematch and we'll play it again. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Uh, if you shoot one of these bell buildings, your bullet will bounce off of them. So here we have a bandito, which is uh, two. You know, it's, it's, it's two of these guys. And so we want to place it in a, in a position that we can get the most ability out of it. So let's do that. I don't know what, that really, what good that's really going to do, but here we got a bear. Our bear is a single. Um, I would like this bear... To actually, honestly, to go ahead and eliminate their bandito so that we get the most gold. And this is good. Even though they put him right there, that's still a, a free free win for us. And so um, we can actually do this. And that'll do great things for us because we'll take out this bandito down here and we'll also get this bank. And now this one's going to be a little bit of a problem. But we have a triple gun right here, which is also not going to be great. But that means that we can strategically... Uh, go ahead and do that. That's not great, actually. But it'll take out this guy. I don't know why... I don't understand the, um, the random deaths here. Uh, I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, it's actually something that I've never seen until, you know, we saw this video just today. Um, so they're actually winning right now. And they won that quite handily actually killed my own, my own band people. We didn't get any gold, so we have one more match. We'll go ahead and finish it up. See, it's a best of best of three. So let's see if we can win this. Uh, distance, is, distance is best when one, one has no motive, I think is what it said. Uh, so let's just focus on getting gold this time. Um, and I actually think playing the puzzle mode is really important because it, it gives you a really good sense for just how the interplay of these, these characters work. Um, I really don't like this that this guy is here and he's going to get so much gold, so I'm going to shoot him here. Because uh, I still have these two banks, almost guaranteed, unless they take out this bandito, which they're not, because this one is going for there. We have a triple. And this is quite an interesting triple here, because uh, we have some angles that we can definitely use. Um, shoot, let's... Oh, that was awful. That was really bad. And then that triple is going to take out our single here. But we got a double, and if we can make clutch use of this double... Like that, I think. Like that. We'll see. That's four. And it's four and four. So we'll see how this goes. There was no random death this time. And so our singles will go. Boom. He gets one gold. We take out his uh, quadruple. Triple. Uh, but that's good for us because we have one gold. But he has two gold now. He's taken out him. And we screwed it because we screwed that one down there. So he's kind of won quite handily, I believe. Three gold bags to one. Which is rather unfortunately lost. Well, we'll exit this mode, and uh, there's no real online presence right now that I've been able to find in the few times that I played. But I would like to leave with a quick conclusion about Fuego. Um, I think pros, there's already online play built into this. I think that's going to be great for a game like this. Uh, very competitive, very good. There's a story mode, uh, which is the puzzle mode for me, and that seems to be like there's a lot of content in there, and you can keep going on, and it's it's quite fun. Uh, it's very tricky sometimes. Some of them are very finicky, I think, and very, very tricky. There's an offline mode, which is against the AI, and you can skirmish and practice strategies and stuff. And the AI seems to be pretty decent as far as we can see. You know, they just they destroyed me there, you know, one, two to one. And, uh, I mean, the fact that there's even, like, an AI mode, that's pretty amazing to me. Uh, the art style? Very idiomatic of the kind of, like, you know, like, bandits kind of Mexican feeling to it and I think they do a lot of cool things I love that they're animals 
uh, the turtle and the rat and the fox and the hare. I love it. I think it's really quite well done. And there are unlockables, which we didn't see in this video, but you get them by beating puzzle mode, I think. And I don't know what they do. I don't know if they do special effects. I don't know how to access them or see them. Maybe that'll come out in a new update, but who knows? Cons, uh, there's really one or two soundtracks, and after you play, especially puzzle mode for a while, if you sit down and play it for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, it can get very repetitive. Uh, there's no way to speed up rounds. So in puzzle mode, if you fail a puzzle, uh, and you don't, you, you have to go through the whole, like, fade out, fade in, there's a quote that appears, and then you need, then you can go again. So if you make a silly mistake, it can kind of hold you back, and that doesn't seem like a big thing, but again, if you're playing it and you're challenged with one puzzle and you don't quite get it, uh, four or five times, it actually does add up to a little bit of time, and that can be, uh, yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, and, uh, I don't know what unlocks do, nothing ex seems to explain what the unlocks do, so... Uh, there's that too, but overall, I think Fuego, Fuego is a pretty sweet game. I really, I'm really enjoying it. I love the art, uh, and the music that's there, even though it's limited in scope, I, I do think the music is quite cool. I would recommend this game, especially if you can pick it up on sale. It releases the 16th of November this year, so that's in about, what, 8, 10, 10, 8, 8 to 10 days? Uh, so if you're interested in this type of gameplay, I think you guys should definitely go check it out. I'm Toast. Stay toasty.